everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief. On this Wednesday, we begin with news of Florida Caribbean cruise officials coming to the Cayman Islands to meet with government officials and cruise tourism industry partners. The delegation led by FCCA President Michelle Page arrived in Grand Cayman early Wednesday. Minister for Tourism, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan, welcomed the group at Owen Roberts Airport. Now, while here, the eight senior executives from the FCCA will be meeting with Minister Bryan and other government officials to discuss the way forward with respect to a safely restarting the cruise tourism industry. The Cayman Islands cruise industry has been heavily impacted by COVID-19, with cruise ships not visiting the Cayman Islands since 2020. The Public Health Department has announced that effective February 1st, the hours of operation for PCR testing walk-in clinics at the Ed Bush Sports Complex and Bodentown Civic Center will be from 1 to 3 p.m. daily for exit isolation and confirmation lateral flow PCR testing. Now, daily drive-through testing for exit isolation and confirmation lateral flow testing will be also available at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex parking lot. That's from 7 in the morning to 11 o'clock. Now, for more details on the clinics, you're encouraged to go online to hsa.ky or exploregov.ky. This group of West End primary school students from Kim and Brack recently visited Little Cayman after winning a prize. Uh, for this song. We get to go to CCMI and Little Cayman, uh, this is the Central Caribbean Marine Institute, and uh, we won a little competition uh, through some reggae music. We created a song, and uh, it was a three-day trip, but because of COVID, we got to go for one. Now, the group, as you just heard, went to CC CCMI on Little Cayman, where they were able to learn more about the Cayman Islands ecosystem. The reggae-type song is about saving the coral reefs, and we say a huge congratulations to the students and those involved in the project. We should try to save our moral reefs. Oh my gosh, oh good grief. The critical battleground we're fighting to save. Turning now to our forecast, uh, tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of uh, showers. A seas will be moderate with wave heights of three to five feet. Now tomorrow, winds will be easterly at 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be moderate with wave heights of three to five feet. The outlook is for similar weather conditions through Saturday afternoon. The synopsis calls for moderate southeasterly winds and moderate seas, uh, which are uh, expected over the next few days. That's all due to a weakening pressure gradient over the Northwest Caribbean. Isolated showers are also expected today as a shear line uh, drifts across our area. Satellite images show patches of low level to mid level clouds over the Cayman Islands area that are moving towards the west. Now, remember, you can find the latest on our local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And this brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful night and inviting you right back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye bye for now. Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.